Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about why the specialist bonus that is now available in pretty much every single match within Warzone is very much broken and all the different things that it includes that I haven't really seen anyone talk about. If you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. It was about a year ago that they modified the specialist bonus right here. You can see June 10th, which was season four update 1.22 it modified the specialist bonus but this is something i never went back and tested because it wasn't readily available within warzone so it wasn't really covering modern warfare and i don't really think many other people covered it either when it comes out other than you know overpowered broken whatever that type of stuff went through but you can see right here it says added new weapon perks to specialist bonus the streak when your specialist is active so after you've gone on get a specialist bonus in particular warzone you grab the little thing you're good to go. Um, you get frangible disabling, frangible wounded, mo money, recon, heavy hitter, FMJ, and presence of mine. So now we know what we need to test for, but let's go ahead and talk about how to get the specialist bonus and then kind of describe some of the testing and how this actually works for both modern warfare and cold war weapons. So the first part's pretty important. You gotta get the specialist bonus to actually get those benefits. And how do you do that? You have to gain access to the Nakatomi Plaza vault which is in Warzone in downtown. It's on the 31st floor and it doesn't open without a key card and there's three different ways to get the key card. But to get the specialist bonus, you only have to do this first part, which is to complete the unfinished business contract, which there's a couple of them at the base of the actual building. You just grab one of them. You basically do it like a scavenger. You grab three of them. Then you go up to the 31st floor with that key card. You open up the vault. And as you get into the vault, there's three different boxes, but the one we're focusing on is box number one using the first key card. When you open this up, you're gonna get a little bit of money but you're also going to get that specialist bonus. So you're gonna grab that specialist bonus and it pretty much works like this every single time. You can go ahead and stack up on cash and guarantee that you're getting the specialist bonus. So now once you've gotten that specialist bonus, let's talk about the different things it actually helps out with. I actually had to go in and test a lot of the different things one of the main ones I wanted to test was frangible disabling. I was able to have my buddy Bear Pig jump in. I was able to test some of these things and you can kind of see in this particular clip what it looks like. Um, and then I was able to test it with specialist bonus and it just doesn't work. Specialist bonus doesn't include this. So I think that initial part was kind of like a typo or they made some kind of error where they said they added it, but since no one ever tested it, uh, they never really modified it to know that there was an issue. But for the rest of them, it does include and it does benefit. Frangible wounding, it will help with the lane the health regen normally if you already take damage not plates actual damage in war zone so if somebody's using stopping power and it takes damage from your regular health or you just do health damage that 100 health bar on the bottom it usually takes about six seconds to get fully healed the frangible wounding actually adds on about five seconds to that time so it's closer to 11 seconds on top of that you're going to get the mo money perk which is kind of cool not really important it's just kind of like you get more xp for headshot you shouldn't really be leveling up your guns with this thing. It was a little bit impractical, but it does help out with that. On top of that, it, it would help out with recon, but that's obviously a modern warfare thing where it makes the name pop up, so not really practical in Warzone. Heavy hitter, it does help out with this. It will give you a huge stun where it kicks up your gun. Odds are if you have heavy hitter on and you're meleeing someone, they have zero chance. They're not gonna be able to defend themselves. Their, their gun's gonna be shooting straight up into the sky. Top of that, the most important one in my opinion, well, maybe top two here, is FMJ. It actually gives you FMJ. As you can see in the clips behind, I start shooting it, this little buggy with the Amex, with the specialist bonus, and you can see how many shots that takes. And then we go ahead and do it without the specialist bonus, and it takes significantly longer. And this is important for a few different reasons. The main one is if you're shooting vehicles, you're gonna be able to destroy them pretty easily, very quickly, and be very efficient on ammo with the FMJ perk. The other part of it is it also gives you that bullet penetration. So if somebody goes behind a wall, you can kind of spam through the wall and you can actually deal damage where before maybe you would have dealed significantly less. On top of that, if somebody is in a vehicle, you can penetrate through the vehicle, just like we had an issue with the DMR where it deals significantly more damage because when you were shooting at the heli, it was so easy to down people because you were getting sniper level bullet penetration. This is gonna give you a similar thing. If you're shooting at a helicopter, you're going to be able to get more bullet penetration and down more players. So if you end up with the specialist bonus, you're gonna to wanna to destroy vehicles. They're gonna be little paper thin flimsy things for you. And that's where this thing is completely broken. Um, but on top of that, you get presence of mind. If you're a sniper, you're automatically gonna get that perk. So if you like holding your breath, you're gonna be able to hold it for up to one minute. 
kind of a long time, but it gives you that perk included. So if you have a sniper, you're you're aiming down sight. Obviously, you got all the perks already, so you see high alert if somebody's looking at you. This way, you'll be able to hard focus, look around, and you can hold your breath as long as you want, up to 60 seconds. Not practical to actually hold it that long. Then you have sleight of hand which will typically increase or improve your reload speed by approximately 40 to 50% depending on the weapon. And this is opening the door for a ton of different loadout options that maybe you wouldn't have done before. Example, a lot of the LMGs have super slow reload. When it comes to the PKM, for example, maybe instead of running something like sleight of hand to help out with that, you can stack your loadout with your regular five attachments. You're gonna get sleight of hand thrown in automatically. And this helps with a ton of other guns where maybe you'd wanna run sleight of hand like on the MP5, you just run collapsible stock, um, especially in those higher game modes, three and four uh, player modes, quads, trios. So I did want to cover that. And there's also a hidden bonus that is not a perk. And that is that you basically get dead silence movement permanently. And if you guys don't know exactly what that means, it means you'll move about 10% faster while having the specialist bonus than without. And that's regardless of double time or not. Double time does not apply that. So you are going to be moving around very fast only unfortunate thing about this is that it only applies to modern warfare weapons obviously the movement is for all but the actual uh, per perks that we're talking about the five or six perks that you're going to be getting thrown in they only apply for modern warfare weapons which is a little unfortunate i tried it i did a fired one bullet reloaded with and without it and there was no difference in reload time uh, for the cold war weapons which is pretty unfortunate so i would probably if you're going to be getting and focusing on specialist bonus Take advantage of it, maximize it with Modern Warfare weapons. So if you guys have the opportunity to have a little bit of fun with it, use it while it's still in the game before the building's gone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.